You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah. We are not alone. That is the, the message you have on your table. We are not alone. Yes. How many of us know here that we are not alone here? But you can only see your colleague, your, your neighbor sitting beside you. When you say you are not alone, you are talking of your neighbor is with you. Or what are you talking about? You mean you see beyond your neighbor? You can see those who are with us? If you can see those who are with us, let us see your hand. Fighting for us. Those who are with us, supporting us, if you can see them, let us see your hand. Those who are with you here, fighting for you, defending you, you can see them. Let us see your hand. Where are they? Where are they? Tell your neighbor, I'm justified. I'm no longer condemned. Defeat and failure are things of the past. Let us see your hand. We are not alone. Hallelujah. I, I, I know you have been fed with the make of the word. The essential. I think I'm right. I say I know you have been fed with the meek of the word, the essentials, not the meat of the word to make you strong, but I mean the meek. You know, you know, there's difference between meek and meat. Huh? You know the work of meek, and you know the work of meat. Huh? I can't hear you. You are you are looking at. I'm not. I don't mean this. Uh, the meek you you are used to or the meat. I mean you have been fed with the meek of the word, the essentials, not the meat of the word to make you strong. Hallelujah. Are you there? Yes. Take note of that. Hallelujah. I think this is the trouble between the, the people that were saying, I'm for the poor, I'm for poor, and I'm, I'm for Apollo. Hmm? In some, in some, some in the church were proclaiming, I'm for what? I'm for poor. Other were yearning, I'm for who? I'm for Apollo. But when you ask God, well, who is poor? Who is Apollo? When you read your Bible, that's First Corinthians 3. You take your reading from verse 1 to 23. The First Corinthians, you see glaringly. What the Lord said there, he said, my, my servant preached the way to motivate people to faith. The real servant of God preached the way to motivate people to what? To what? To faith. Different, different way, in a different way, the minister, because they were given different spiritual gifts. Because they are given what? Different spiritual gifts. Some will not talk. Mere breath, breathe, the healing. Why some need to say, be healed. If I'm talking, let us see your hand. So, those who will not talk will say, <clears throat> when, they, when they breathe, <clears throat> what coming out of them hear people? They say, it doesn't call the name Jesus. Where some will say, in the name of Jesus, be here. In the name of Jesus, come back tomorrow. That tomorrow, in the name of Jesus, in the name of, after the day you get here. Why some, in the name of Jesus, be here and he's here there. You know what the Bible says? Whether you plant or water, we are a team.
Are you, are you with me? Whether you plant or water, we are a team. Each will be rewarded for what he or she does. Each will be what? Are you, are you there? Each will be rewarded for what he or she what? I can hear you. Because we are all Christ's co-workers. We are all Christ's co-worker. The one that says, in the name of Jesus, be healed. And the person says, feel the pain. Okay, maybe he will say, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow again, be healed. Oh, Pastor, I'm still feeling the pain. Don't worry, fast for three days. And you fast for three days, say, come back. Third day, be healed. Pastor, I'm getting better. And also the pastor that say, in the name of Jesus, be healed instantly and be healed instantly. We are a team. We are what? We are a team. You know, you have been to many places where they may ask you to fast for 30 days and you are, sick, you are sick with your sickness they ask you to fast for 30 days with prayer warrior fast prayer 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 but see maybe at the end of 30 days you feel better but it motivates your faith then if they ask you to fast that is motivation we are given different spiritual gifts that is why our administration is different. Because we have different spiritual war. That is why our war? War? Different! We are all Christ co worker But one thing is sure, the foundation has been, has already been laid. The foundation has already been what? Yes. Take note of that. For no, for no one can lay foundation. Because foundation has already been laid. The foundation is Jesus Christ. So, I must be careful how I walk because the foundation has already been laid no one can lay the foundation the foundation is jesus and i will build on the foundation of jesus christ take note of that let me just because we don't have enough time to talk the message that was preached last Sunday, I have to discontinue it because I realized that rain, 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 rain keep telling me that, uh, you know you are a prophet? I say, yes. He said, himself is a prophet. So I'm telling you, I want to rain you. I say, rain, please, hold on, please, give me, please, please now, please now. We used to talk to ourselves because he's a prophet and I'm a prophet. <laughs> you know what it means? He is a servant of God, reign. He, that is his own assignment, to reign. That is his own duty. He's a servant, reign. The one in charge is a servant, the servant of God. So I, I can talk, please take it easy now, give me some time. I mean, we talk to ourselves, you know, you as a lawyer, you know, you, the, way you, the way you talk to your lawyer colleague. So he's talking to me that, uh, look, oh, I want to rain you, oh, please, please. Oh. I said, okay, thank you. 
Thank you. Okay. But I want you to take this home in summary, just in summary. Just in summary. I talk of meek and meat. I say, I believe you have been fed with the meek of the word. The essential. That, is, that meek renews our strength. And the meat refreshes our mind. We go we, we, later. We, we talk about that because time is not right on our side. The meek renews our strength. Why the meat refreshes our war? Our mind. But the meat, the essential. I was talking of First Corinthians 3 from verse 1 to <clears throat> you talk of some in the church even today they will say I'm for Paul and who is Paul? Other will say I'm for Apollo and who is Apollo? But state it clear this way the servant of God preaches the way and motivate people to faith and the administration different. Why? Because they were given different spiritual gifts. Like I have said to you, some may not bother to touch you, they will just stretch your hand from distance and you feel the presence of God. The, that is the resurrection power you feel it. You know what I mean by resurrection power? Yes. Heat that you feel lightning around you. You know, you know lightning when the thunder, when, the, when it's about to rain, you hear Bruh! So you, 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 you feel the lightning from distant touches, stretching hand from distant, you feel something. Why other has to touch and touch and touch and touch before you feel? Whether you plant or water, we are a team. Whether you plant or water, we are what? Because the one that touched, touched, touched and the, the gentleman feel the presence also motivates people to faith. Why the one that's at a distance just instantly also motivates people to what? We are a team. Until the church knows this, we will stop envy and jealous of ourselves. You surrender, you accept, and say thank you, Jesus, for the blessing God has given you. Each will be rewarded for what he or she does. Because we are all Christ co-worker. For no one can lay the foundation. Take another. No one can lay the foundation because it has already been laid. The foundation is Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, I will build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor once again. I can hear you. I can hear you. Again and again. Again. Yes, if you know you, are, you, cannot, you, cannot, you cannot lay the foundation, the foundation has already been laid. If church know today, we will know that grace of all graces, you will not fight for God. God will fight for you because the house you are talking about 
you cannot lay the foundation. You are only you are only you are only built on the foundation that has already been built. But the way we go about the the way church is going today, we are behaving and acting as if we can build the foundation. We can lay the foundation. That is why we can judge in the church. That is why we have we can begin to measuring ourselves to ourselves and comparing ourselves to others. That is why we stand to say that religion is bad, that is good. It's only foundation, Jesus Christ, that has the right to do that. We will talk and he make it happen. We cannot make the, our will happen, we can only talk and it make it happen. The way we speak is not ours. It goes beyond us. Hallelujah. It goes beyond. I would not say you because we are not to operate the same spiritual level or gifts and begin to compare in myself. I would look into the source of that gift, not you. No matter what you possess, no matter the gift of God you have, I will look into the source of that gift. The sort of you. Whatever you possess, whatever gift of God you have, what matter the maintainer of that gift? If you possess all the spiritual gifts, all the gifts of God, and you are the deepest side, you know, that are three level for us, deep deeper, deepest. We ministers of God all over the world, we, we are placed in a three category. Deep, deeper, and deepest. That is our relationship. And God is there. It's either you are in the deep, or deeper, or deepest. So this is why what I can see, other may not see it. Because maybe what others see, I may not see because I'm not close to that the 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 the, my, the 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 heaven and earth. So this is where trouble come. When I know that there are three stage for us, and others say something and I, and I, I cannot say it. I sh when I know that there are three stage, I should I should I should surrender. I should not say this man is not from God, because there are three stage. If I'm at the deep side. And someone is at deeper. He should be able to see clear. The vision should be clearer than me. He should be able to understand God than me. He should, he should be able to see the inside than me. If I'm at deeper side, and someone is deeper side, if that deeper is talking about God, I should, I should, I should, I should surrender because he, he should be able to he see clearer than me. That is the position of church all over. And we servant of God all over. The earlier the better you know where you belong. Because time for everything. I could remember at the beginning of my journey in this ministry. I could leave the premises here for 40 days. You will not see me. I will be somewhere alone, praying, fasting. When I come out, you say, hey, 
look at this, the way I look. But today I cannot do that again because the flesh is, is becoming old. Because you have to carry your flesh along. The spirit cannot go alone, go it alone. So therefore, at the beginning of my journey, if, if, if I just uh, maybe, let's say, someone misbehave then, you can go and cry for 30 days. You have the strength to do that. But I will never try that misbehave now because I don't have the strength to go on and on. If I go for two days, three days, you see that maybe if I don't leave the place, you may you will come and carry my body. So time for everything. You, 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 time for everything. So if you don't know where you belong now, and later you got to know, and you now want to reconcile yourself or to do the right thing, you may not be able to because of your age in the ministry. I want to give you a good example. Last time when I was 50 years, and I, I say I'm going, I will go and, uh, I mean, renew, I mean, my covenant. When you people could not see me, you know, I want to share some funny experience with you. Where I normally go in the mountain, go and fast some pray, stay there, and for 30 days, I was there. When it got to time I need to go to a restroom, you know, in those days, I would not mind, I can, I can be like this for 20, 30 hours. <laughs> but nowadays, if I try it for 20 hours, I will fall on the sheets. <laughs> there is no toilet there. <laughs> and in the rock, inside the bush, no toilet. The one you are using today comfortably, but you have to go inside the bush. At least you use yourself. So when it, it was time to go inside the bush to use myself, I have to use myself. To go inside the bush to use myself. Ah, I said, my God, what is this? I quickly remember those days that uh, it's a practice to... <laughs> and when you are fasting two days, three days, this thing will not come out in time. It will not come out. But when you don't eat, go straight. If you don't have any disease, you go straight. But this thing, after two days, three days, and I was pressed, I need to go. Because I don't want to mention it here. But you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I have, after two days, three days, you know, in those days, it's a, it's a practice. I can even work on my this thing like that. It's a suicide. But I went inside the bridge to, ah, to the city, very difficult. I was, when it got to stay, do you know what I did? I had to do like this. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to a point I cannot help myself again, I do like this. I sleep and labor. Before I know it, I mess up my body. I mess up everywhere. I say, well, what will I do? Will I keep it to myself? And there's no toilet there. Yeah. I just mess up my body. I say, oh. Huh? Before I know it, I, see, I saw millions of soldiers, you know, at three day, the odor was so bad. And you know the soldier I'm talking about, fly. From nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I was battling with that. I, when I was going, I carried some Ragonis water, pure water. I said, you know, in those days, which, which one is pure water, which one is Ragonis water? Any water is water for me. In those days, at the beginning of the ministry, when I just entered the wilderness, I'm fasting and praying. 
I'm, I'm just looking for any available water. It's pure on my own side. But this time around, I have to look for, I carry a load of uh, pure water, regular water. When I started, I started bathing like a baby inside the bush. So these are the experiences I'm talking about. How many of our ministers today of that, uh, of our level can go and that is the best place to have this encounter I'm talking about. Because that will remind you, Elijah, Elijah, all apostle, apostle, New Testament and Old Testament, you know. They are fishermen, Katuriara. And uh, once you forget where you are coming from, you are lost. Well, occasionally you should, you must take back where you are coming from. Where are you coming from? This is why you have to take your time, occasionally go to the village. You may build a mansion there, but your family home, that major, go there and sleep there with us one night to remind you where you are coming from. You may build a mansion in the village, but that house where you were born, have you once taken your time to enter the night and, and remember those days? Yes, very important. Because the problem we are having, we easily forgetting where we are coming from. In those days, you remember when you have pain, the stomach running, you just, you just believe. I mean, I mean, patient, after some time it's gone, but today you run for medical checkup. Many things that will have gone just like that, it's nature, it's normal. Nature means that is some pain will just come and go. The way it comes, it go. But suddenly we go for operation. It will not kill you, some pain. It's normal. Some of our system, when a system wanted to change or turn it, it's normal. Some system in your system, when you want to turn or change, like, like warm, moving, reposition itself or something is about to change system you have that sharp pain as if you want to die you cry out pain 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 in those days they know that it will come and it will go just like that but today before you know it operation So what we are talking about, yes, Paul and for Paul and for Apollo. But what does this mean? <laughs> it means that we minister differently because we are given different spiritual gifts. One thing is clear, for no one can build the foundation. The foundation has already been what? The foundation is Jesus Christ. Tell your neighbor, I will build on the foundation of Jesus Christ. I can hear you. Again. Thank you. Bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, well, so can we just hear just one, just one, and then uh, we'll see what the Lord has have for us today.
Les téléspectateurs, dans quelques instants, nous allons écouter euh, les cas qui se sont déroulés la semaine dernière, dimanche dernier, nous allons écouter le témoignage en direct, mais avant cela, nous allons voir la vidéo. A continuation, nous allons voir la vidéo de comment condition. Alléluia. So, I think because of uh, many issues we need to address. Okay. is at home. She told you something. Yes, it's and true. And it didn't really disturb you. It's true. It's just one. The other one don't say it. Take it back. I want you to listen. After this, we will not be able to go on with our move around you. There are, we have almost 50 they want to show, but just only one is enough. Because I know you might have been he hearing the testimonies this morning, and it's enough for you. Because I, look, I knew you were coming. Yeah. You know, you are not a guest that just entered my house just like that. I knew you were coming. Uh, I mean, if I knew you were coming, it mean I'm, 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 I'm ready. Yeah. So, so you just listen, pick. I would not want them to show the other one because of time. Just pick this, let this one motivate your faith like I have said. Take note of the message, just short message I gave now. It's very short. We are a team. Whether you plan or water, we are a team. What does this mean? Whether you stand at his distance and say in the name of Jesus and the person receive healing, and the one also that went there to touch, be here, be here, the person is not here, come back tomorrow, another tomorrow, go and fast for four days, four days, four nights, and uh, after fasting, no healing, another day again, be here, be here, or the call prayer warrior to surround you and pray, or to motivate you to faith. We are a team. So, but one thing is clear, like I have said, take note of that, the way. We are all Christ co-workers. Take note. For no one can build what? The foundation has already been what? The foundation is? I will, I will build on Then, what are we fighting for? Tell your neighbor, ask your neighbor, what are we fighting for? When you cannot build the foundation. Eh? Somebody, look, you just find a house being built. Just build the foundation and it's about to be roofing. And you just, you are called to come and join them. And you are now carrying it as if the house. Huh? A house that has been built already just to cover, to roof the house, you are about to be roofed, and you are called to come and uh, join them roof the house. I mean, what are you doing? Hey, this one is not good. Let's go and begin to fight. No, what are we fighting for? What are we dragging? Tell your ass on the what are we dragging? <laughs> when you are not the foundation. Okay, let's, let's watch, please. Can we put it on louder? Whatever you see, pastor, evangelist, prophet, whatever you see now, let it motivate your what? Your faith. 
Don't envy this. Don't jealous it. The foundation of this is Jesus Christ. I'm not the foundation. Tell your neighbor, whatever you are seeing now, whether it's greater than what you are doing, or little than what you are doing, you Christian, pastor, evangelist, teacher, prophet, please don't envy it. Don't jealous this thing at all. The the TV church is not the foundation. I mean, Jesus, I'm built on the foundation of Jesus. We are a team. Whatever you are doing, little in your little way, there we are a team. So let's watch. Where is your wife? My wife is at home. She told you something. Yes, it's and true. And it did really disturb you. It's true. It just one. The other one don't say it here. When I meet you in the office. Yeah, okay. Because if I say you should not say anyone, they will say, ah, this man is just a uh, kangaroo thing. It's still a thing, yeah. but only one teller. The other two, don't tell us here. I'm, I'll see you. Uh -huh. My wife told me I'm not being faithful to her. And if I come and prophet TBJ Joshua did not reveal it to me, then she will even there. Uh, the one I say you should not say is the one that he said here. <laughs> Can you see this man? Eh? Two things the one the wife told her, her told him. The one I say you should not say is the one he said. Because you know that the woman is watching Mana TV. And this, what I was telling her him, the woman said, if man of God did not see this one for you today. So before you get home and watch my native, I'll pack my load. What I was expecting her to say, uh, my wife say I will pack my load if I don't see you on the TV. But the one I say you should not say is the one they say now. My hand is not dead there. Oh. <laughs> okay, play it back again, then in gentle manner, let's hear. Because I was determined not to mention it, I just said, your wife said this, said, please don't say the other one, the number one, the number two say it. Which is number two? It was that number two that prompted him to come here. Let's watch again. Where is your wife? My wife is at home. She told you something. Yes, it's and true. And it did really disturb you. It's true. It just one. The other one don't say it here. When I meet you in the office. Yeah, okay. Because if I say you should not say anyone, they will say, ah, this man is just a kangaroo thing. It's still a thing, yeah. but only one teller. The other two, don't tell us here. I'm, I'll see you. Uh -huh. My wife told me I'm not being faithful to her. And if I come and prophet TB Joshua did not reveal it to me, then she will even uh, she she will not worship you. That's all. That's all. That's all. Lysol, Lysol, Lysol. Do you know the reason why I begin to make noise? Because you want to say what I do more. Uh, I mean, I'm not faithful to him. Okay, Lysol, 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 forget about that. Let's go to invite them out there. So I think uh, after this, we, uh, we, move, we move forward. Thank you. Nous venons de voir la prophétie et cet homme. L'homme de Dieu lui a dit que sa femme lui a dit quelque chose avant de partir. La femme lui a dit trois choses, mais qu'il dise une seule chose. Il a confirmé que la femme a dit qu'elle n'était pas fidèle. Et si l'homme de Dieu ne l'expose pas, qu'elle peut partir de la maison. Escuchamos durante la profecía de la semana pasada este hombre que recibió profecía por parte del profeta Tibilloso acerca de que había cometido una infidelidad con su esposa y que no lo dijera porque si le iba a decir no recibía esta revelación, ella iba a partir de su casa. Emmanuel. Yes. If God is with us, yes. Last Sunday, my name is Eric Amanowayu, and I come from Ghana. The woman beside me is my wife. And uh, last Sunday, the prophet gave me a prophecy, and uh, he told me, where is, he asked me, where is your wife? I said my wife was in, in Ghana. 
Then they said, your wife told you something, so just mention only one. Then I started by saying that uh, really when I was coming here, my wife told me, when you come to the synagogue, and man of God is unable to see uh, the nefarious activities I engage in with women, then she will not worship God again. And man of God also went ahead and said, your wife told you something that disturbed you. Me, I'm ready to share it with you because this is a, a learning situation. Really, my wife told me, you know, you always ask me to watch Emmanuel TV and so on. But why do you engage in extramarital affairs? And uh, you don't really have much affection for me. So this was really bringing a problem in the house, arguments here and there. So immediately man of God said, I said, wow, man of God is really identifying the root cause of my problem. This is something I've been battling with. And really, I go after women. I will not hide it from you. This, my wife at times, I do will complain, but I do deny it. But when man of God said it, I said, yes, I have to bring this problem because it has been something I've been battling with for a long time. You know, my father, for instance, married about seven women. So it is something in the family. Polygamy is something that is accepted, you know, in the family. So any time I said I will not even go after women or I will chase women, the women would themselves would chase me. So I always chase and be chased, you know. So this is a problem. And man of God has been able to identify the root cause of my problem. So you, need you, you mean what? <laughs> I mean I chase and be chased. Okay, they chase you, you chase them. <laughs> eh? Yes, man of God. Are you the one chase most or they are the one chase you most? It's equal. You, 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 you must be the most handsome man in the world. <laughs> so this spiritual wife really had been a problem. Most of the time when they are delivering people, you see, I have a spiritual wife, spiritual husband. Well, I want to take the time to explain to you. You know, I've been told at tender age that when... Listen to my brother, you learned a lot of lessons. He said they chase him and he chased them, but they chase him most. But he said this is a spiritual attack, and the problem he has been coming about for so long. Okay, tell them how come about they chase you, you chase them. <laughs> Thank you, man of God. You see, most of the time, what you watch on Emmanuel TV about spiritual wives and spiritual husband is very real. I've been told at tender age that when I was born, you know. In our tradition, they will go and ask about what you're coming to do in life, your destiny. So they told me that uh, I was with a woman in the spiritual world. I was married to a woman in the spiritual world. And when they, born, when they gave birth to me, that woman said I did not really tell her and I came on earth. So she's still marrying me in spirit. So, and really at the age of 15, I could sleep. And then women, a woman, at times I could see the face. At times I may not see the face, will come and have affairs with me. And in fact, Never have that experience. If you get such experience, the way you enjoy, you know, we'll have a affair with you, you can even release all right, okay? So this thing has been manifesting in my life. So it did not only affect my marriage, it affect my career, it can bring disappointment. These spiritual wives, they can do a lot in your life. Even my education, too, it was like forward and back. You know, it was really affecting. I hope you follow him. And I look at the stator that is talking. It's, yes. That is, a woman meeting him all the time. And he, he, he's always go for this woman all the time, different faces. Take note of Okay, go ahead. So, as a result of this spiritual wife, I do have what we call spirit of lust. You see a woman, at times it's not the whole body that attracts you. It could be the eye. It could be the... the the way the person is working could be surgery subject, subjective, okay? So it could be even just a little part. That's why it's making people to be moving from woman to woman because you are not satisfied with one person. At times it could just be the breast that will attract you to that particular woman and so on. So this has been a major problem. Anytime I told myself, oh, this thing is not good, let me stop it. Ah, the, the women themselves will really come to me, you know? So I'm really happy when man, man of God really uh, identified the root cause the root cause of my problem, and you know... Listen, are you continue where you stop? Because I want to carry people along, can you see? 
down down inside him he was sitting down expecting me to talk about his business set back in the business career wise set back but he could not hear this from him but a different thing which is the root of his problem He wouldn't have expected me to begin to talk about where is your wife because he never believed that the wife is at home watching Imane TV but first where is your wife he could not answer me he said, ah, what is this man I can you ask of my wife that was telling me at home that if you don't go to Snago and they don't deliver you I will leave the house I will not serve Jesus again and suddenly a man of God now say where is your wife he said oh think that uh, maybe the wife have called this man does he know this man he was looking at me, stare at me, could not talk. This is why when I'm talking to people, when I'm prophesying to them, they refuse to answer me, as if I'm lying. So because they are shocked. Oh, I was one. okay, he told you this. This is what he mentioned to you. So it's better we deal with the root of our problem than to begin to deal with branches. That will not be, you continue to disturb yourself. I think this is the situation we have been facing. Like I was saying just in a little message given to you. The moment you forget your, where you are coming from, you are lost. Where you are coming from, imagine experiences, occasionally those kind of food you used to eat in those days. At least you must find time to eat it. Those colleagues of yours, your classmates, those, uh, I mean, I mean, downtown, you were living in downtown before and you have some colleague there occasionally find time to go there you will win that is why god raised you so that you can raise these people don't run for them you are raised it's not a crime when in a community of i mean abject poverty people were poor but you are just raised among them but now you are forgotten these people. You are now more with people of your own calibers. Forgetting people you, you, came, you came among them, you rise among them. God raised you so that you can raise them. You are blessed to bless others. These are the people. The purpose why God raised you is because of these people. Amen. But you have forgotten them. You can't go anywhere. Amen. You will go, you will come down. Amen. Are you with me? Do you know the, pop, the problem of our leader today? People that God has blessed, you will see them going up suddenly down. Because the reason why they were raised could not be achieved. God raised them so that they can raise others. But when God raised them, they now move with people that are blessed already. Dine with them, move with them. They have no time for these people. Instead, they are now using these people as toggery. You see them talk as errands, boys, servants. You, we cannot go anywhere. It's not possible. That is why we don't have fulfilled leader today. You know, when you say you are fulfilled at your old age, we can say, oh, yes, I've run a good race. Yes. See, 99% of our leader today, they are not fulfilled. Tell your neighbor, 99% of our leader today, they are not fulfilled. They may have everything. They may have this. They may have that. They may have this. Fame everywhere. Name everywhere. Popularity, money everywhere. But within them, they know they are not fulfilled. You know what fulfillment means? Fulfillment means, oh, if today is my last day, what will people say about me? If you remember that, you will not be able to sleep. Because when you look back, you see that your absence is empty. If you are not there, the place is empty. No one can, there's nothing to remain. Mm, what? It's because you are there, that's how many things are covered. So please remember this. As you grow, as you move, as you move and grow, 
remember where you are coming from. Tell your neighbor where you are coming from is is greater than where you are going. Do you know the meaning of that? Where you are coming from, that is the 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 the, the, the beginning of success is more deeper than the source himself. Deeper. So, okay, continue where you, you, you look at the, our brother now. Where he was coming from, drag him to this mud. You know, he mentioned that he had a story that he was given. There's a covenant between him and the this. He was borrowed. He said, There's a covenant that said this initiator and this, this, this. He said, Mommy, water, whatever. That's where he was coming from, now drag him back. Come back where you are coming from. Because he has not disconnected himself. Oh, running, running, you are running, you are running, you are running. If you have not disconnected yourself from where you are coming from and stand for what you believe, your faith, you will still be dragged back. You know, no matter the mountain, no matter the empire you build, you will be dragged back. It says it doesn't take a Satan a second to, to, to bring empire down. But to build empire, it takes years. To build a career is not a day job. But to destroy a career is a day job. Tell your neighbor. Again, tell your neighbor again. Again, yes, career means what you become, what you become your career. Hey, what okay, see me today to build this, what I am today, is not a day job. But to bring this career down, if one is not hold on with the faith, it's a day job. Write it down, write it down, please. To build a career is not a day job, but to destroy a career is a day job. It's not even up to a day. Say it's not up to a day. To bring the career down. To bring career down is not up to a day. Those are the way that to begin to matter to you any time when you live here that ha, to build a career is not a day job but to bring the career down is not up a day to build a career is not a day job but to destroy a career is a day job look at this ministry can you okay let me give you a good example look at this church can you see the cathedral? Do you know how many years it took us to build this church? If today we want to destroy it, if we call 10 builders and they will finish it before the evening. If I'm talking, let us see your hands. <laughs> 10, 10 builders or 6. One will start here, one will start here, one will start here. Before you just come tomorrow morning and say, so this is career I'm talking about, to bring it down. So please, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. No matter little you are, no matter small you are, no matter whom you are, please <laughs> remember where you are coming from. Remember where you are coming from. Remember where you are coming from. Take care of yourself. Mm. And time for everything. A time is coming, you may not be able to sit long, long hours like this because of your age. Today you can sit down for many hours and serve God, but a time is coming you will not be able to because this flesh will not be able to, you will not be able to carry this flesh along to do what, remember what I told you? 
take care of yourself. Let's hear. Uh, children of God, I want to say that uh, there is a living God here because uh, the prophecies of man of God always go with solution. After man of God prophesied in my life, I begin to see my wife now in a positive light. Okay, and uh, quite apart from that, I begin to have dreams about how to carry out my life. I've seen even man of God himself as a holy leader. He knows the way, he shows the way, and he, he also goes the way. He preaches the Bible. He knows the Bible in the first place. He preaches it. He, he, he acts on the word of God. That is why he's going from strength to strength. Let me tell you one thing. After this prophecy, are you still seeing this woman in the dream? No, he's well, gone. That is why he's I gone. say I will not allow her to him to go. I want to see the wife, so that this is a dear mother. It's it's, it's our mother, and every woman I want you to rise up and uh, salute this woman. And we men too, we should salute her. Yes, give a salute. Salute her faith. Salute her faith. Hallelujah. You may be seated, you may be seated. Now, the reason why I say you should salute her faith. Look, this woman is a woman of faith. Many marriages have been destroyed. If this woman is not a woman of faith and a woman of our generation, you know we have a woman of our generation, a woman without faith, without hope. They, are, they, they, they always run out of patience. Just a rumor like this is enough for them to destroy their marriage. Somebody will just come, ah, madam, come, come. I saw your husband with a woman in a hotel somewhere there. Say, are you sure? Look at me. Can I lie to you? By the time the man will get home, he said, Go, 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 go. Give me, sit down. He want to smile the what? The, the perfume. The, 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 no, no, when you are coming from there, it will. <laughs> you now answer, why are you smiling my. Why? Why smile me? Because of where you are coming from. And this is a man that is not even from that place. The fight started. From there, the marriage ends. The marriage what? That is it. Sit down. These are the things that cause marriage, marriage and marriage. Marry and remarry. We have many of us that are here today that I know what I'm talking about is, is disturbing you that have been to marry and remarry, marry and remarry because of all this news. But here is a woman today. Because she knew a time like this is coming. If this woman has left or divorced, shall we be talking today? Shall we be celebrating today? Shall we be talking of deliverance today? If this woman has abandoned the marriage, but because she knew that She will be victorious in her trial. She knew that. Here she is today. God intervention. Many of us cannot wait, could not wait for God intervention. Even though the matter is true, what they are talking about is true. You say no. Who knows where you are going is better than where you are going? Who knows what will have happened to you? If this woman will have abandoned the marriage, who knows what will have happened to her? No. The bad you know is better than the bad you don't know. If you know this man is bad and you know him as a bad man, it's better to relate with than someone who is a bad man and pretend to be good. 
to you can take your life. So this is, the woman established this, the car. Let me save this man. Someone must save this man. That is her thought. The, what coming out of her? Someone must save this man. If I left this woman, if I leave this man and leave this marriage, at least this woman must be saved. Someone must let me and choose to be her sa a savior. Be greater is reward. Blessed is the mother that gave back to you. Thank you. So, our women here, you have a lot of blessing here today. Let us see your hand. Let's hear from the mama. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. I'm very, very happy for what Prophet TV Joshua said to my husband, the prophecy that TV Joshua gave to my husband is 100% true. And I will not say much, but I just thank God for today. Do you, do you ever know that a day like this are coming? Yes, because I've been praying for it, mm -hmm. and I, I'm even fasting for it. Clap for Jesus Christ. Right. Can you see? He said, is, is, what the woman is saying is that marriage is all about where I'm weak, you are strong. And where I'm strong, you are weak. I am because you are. You are because I am. If two strong persons meet, they have no lesson to learn. One must be weak, one must be strong. That is all about it. If you are strong and I'm strong and we come together, there is no relationship there. Tell your neighbor, if you are strong and I'm strong and we come together, there is no relationship there. The relationship is all about you are strong, I am weak. Where I am weak, you are strong. Where I am strong, you are weak. <laughs> Tell your neighbor once again, relationship is all about where I am strong, you are weak. Where I am weak, you are strong. So you are because I am, I am because you are. You see, the woman said, she turned to a prayer warrior because she realized that she must redeem this man. Amen. It's her duty to redeem her. They redeem him. Ask your neighbor, where is your redeemer? Where is your Tell your neighbor. Ask your neighbor once again. Your Tell your neighbor. Your Ask your neighbor. Your he has divorced. The Redeemer has, rede has divorced, has abandoned home. That is the story of many quarter. Many quarter will say, my Redeemer has abandoned me. He will have redeemed the man, the man will have redeemed the woman, but he abandoned him or he abandoned her. He's looking for another Redeemer. Go, go and eat your confession. He said he has confession to make. I said you should go and eat his confession. <laughs> go and eat your confession. You can eat your confession or you swallow it. Huh? Which kind of confession we are talking? Because of what you are saying. Take, please, can you bring the gentleman here? Bring him here. Maybe he want to sit in front of me. 
<laughs> some people when they don't know what to do they say i'm too far from this man <laughs> yeah? they say i'm too far from this man this man that is talking eh? when i'm at home i watch him on the screen here in the synagogue again on the screen what can i do hey manaza 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 you know when man of god here will say bring him to my front here yeah. okay come 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 and be my redeemer <laughs> you see now by the time they give me sit here and I will stop you will stop making noise man of God since money you never say man of God okay are you taking note of this what marriage is all about what relationship is all about people just believe that a relationship is all about giving birth to children cook for food eat I mean mere companion no it's all about where i'm strong you are weak and where i'm weak you are strong you are because i am i am because you are that is a relationship and this is what this woman has demonstrated and today many has abandoned their marriage Many man has abandoned the woman and many women has abandoned their husband. Look at just because of this. And who know where you are going? The place you are going, the person you are inspired to meet, another marriage you are organizing may be worse than the one you abandon. For how long will you continue to abandon them, abandon them, abandon them, abandon them, abandon them? No one is perfect. If you abandon this one because of this problem, the one you are meeting there may be a chronic smoker. That time you don't like that odor. Will you abandon that one again? The other one you abandon again may be a debtor. That every minute the bank will come and knock your door. They will want to sell your building. Will you abandon, keep abandoning them because of their weakness? No one is perfect, not even one. And Christianity is a relationship. Tell your neighbor. I can't hear you. Tell your neighbor. Christianity is a relationship. Yes, and a relationship can better define in this way. You are because I am, I am because you are. Where you are weak, I'm strong, and where you are strong, I'm weak. That is the best definition for relationship. It's not just coming together and there be one. Okay, let's hear from Mama. We have to two minutes or one minute more. My name is Vaida Naki Amano Wayo. You know, you, you have given thanks to God that you don't want to talk too much, and I like that. Because you don't want to talk of uh, those uh, rubbish things. And I want to say I salute you once again. What lesson do you want us to learn the other women are meant to learn? Because they are a woman of integrity. My word of advice to the women, the marriage women, is they should have patience and pray to God and put, uh, believe in what they are praying for thank you very much you listen to that he said he said he said the advice to marriage couples the couples this advice our advice to couples is that the beginning if the beginning is smooth knowing that the end is questionable the journey is tough. Its beginning is smooth. The journey is what? It's tough. It is misunderstanding that brings about understanding.
misunderstanding bring about understanding and this understanding are built in the college of misunderstanding there are two colleges now are you with me understanding grow understanding feed in misunderstanding it, it fed it grow grow day by day grow day by day okay two of you uh why you do this please don't do that okay sorry i will not do that understanding has come another you have established a very strong understanding in, in another area tomorrow disagreement understanding grow it grow by day by day on the platform of misunderstanding so let's understand this no matter what happen let us ask god god's opinion about everything this marriage god has something to say no matter what happen ask god the direction so thank you thank you madam thank you thank you thank you thank you we salute this matter i want to meet you i want to meet you that's why i invite you i want to meet you thank you very much thank you okay thank you how do you see this woman now is your mother oh now i've seen uh, the woman to be very beautiful now and uh, <laughs> by those days anything even if she started to talk then i got angry but now the affection has returned and i thank god for that you listen to that where you listen to that where uh, glory be to god the spiritual wife could not allow my brother to see this woman where he, he covered the face of my brother so now spiritual wife is is gone now you can see the picture of the woman now so thank you thank you thank you because of time hallelujah so now i think uh, we have to off your mic please um we, we are still talking of of a relationship before we now you should be ready now do you know we are here today establish relationship with me with god and with your colleague first with god to the fellow men the reason why we church we are not strong today the church are not strong because all the mountain all over the world if you come together we can move it the mountain trouble in the world today we can move it if come together but we are not one so now we are not one there is no relationship so now there's no relationship so you have now understanding now that the basis of your relationship with your colleague, your friend, your marriage, whatever, is to help you where you are with and to help your colleague where he is what. So where you are strong, you help your colleague. Where you are weak, your colleague will help you. That is the basis. I was, I was in the meeting sometimes, I was telling my people in the meeting that look take note to, for you to grow at this time you should look look for someone who is strong where you are weak not someone who will, who will, who will bless you with money possession that is these are the temporary 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 cannot take you to anywhere your spiritual life need to be built first and when your spiritual life is not strong and you have your possession is greater than your spiritual life you are in trouble it's like uh, me carry this uh, 
big cola, I mean IAC. If I carry it, I will, I will find it very tough because it's heavier than me. So the, this is possession. So the person that carry the possession is our spiritual life. Money, property, wealth, fame, popularity are possession. So now the thing, the person that carry those things, make it work, is our spiritual life. If we are very famous and our spiritual life is shallow, it's better not to be famous because your famous will face challenges, greater challenges that will put you into mess. If your spiritual life is very shallow and you are very rich, that riches will, will mess you up one day. So it's better you should slow down. Slow down. You know what I mean by slow down? Instead of running business, 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 money, money, fame, fame, fame. I want to be popular, I want to be daily, I want to be connected, I want to be this, I want to be this, all the money is coming, you acquire money. You have forgotten your spiritual life that carry you. You acquire this at a time you are now you are supposed to enjoy it. You 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 will be in a bondage. Instead of you to spend those things, to enjoy those things, those things will be enjoying you. You know what I mean by you know money can spend us. When you go to for medical check all the time, what you want to eat is not what you are eating. You are not sick, you are sick, you are not well. There is money. You say, oh, why can't this money go and my good head come? You will be envy and jealous, the poor, wretched man moving around. Whereas you are very rich, you be envy them. That oh, look at this man is very strong, he's very healthy. But you that very rich, you are, you can't move. Slow down, slow down. Take care of your 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 what? Your what? Spiritual life. Take care. Tell your neighbor, slow down and take care. Your spiritual life, because it, it will, when you take care of your spiritual life, you 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 see you see yourself, you see yourself, you you see how yourself the way God sees you. Because you don't know how God look at you, what God is looking at you. Whether, you no, know, you can't see yourself the way God sees you. You are not at with God. But you have money, you have property, you have fame everywhere. But you, you cannot act with God, your creator. What is the meaning of that word? word? It, it's of no use. Okay, you have money, you have fame, popularity, but you cannot act with God. You know, to act with God means to relate with God. You cannot act with him. But who now give you, can somebody give you something that that person will not be able to relate with you. It's not possible for me. I can't give you something and I will not be able to relate with you. That is to tell you where those things come from. Are you, if I'm talking to you, let me see your hand. Okay, look at this. This is, I say, brother, come. Put it down. Come. I give you this. Okay. Now, you cannot relate with me. And I cannot relate with you. Is it possible? Does it really possible? It's not possible. Huh? It's not possible. This is exactly what is happening in the world today. Ninety percent of famous, popular, rich all over the world, they have this possession, but they cannot relate with the, the, the source the source of that possession. Where does that possession come from? Can you give God that mic and let us demonstrate it, please? Instead of standing looking at me, please give the mic to the brother. Let people in the world understand what we are talking about. Give the mic and leave the possession. We talk of money, we talk of fame, we talk of popularity, all what we are looking for, okay? So, give it to you. Now you cannot relate with me. You cannot act with me. 
I give you all this, you cannot act with me. What can you say about that, sir? Talk about it. How will you keep the possession? It's, not, the it's person, not possible. It, the person that give you have the key of maintainer. The person that give you have the key of growth of that thing. So now, how will you go on with the, the whole thing, the possession? How will you go on? It's not possible to go on because the foundation is weak. So the this, source is weak. This is the problem we are having all over the world today. This is just a problem. So now, if you cannot relate with the source, it's an opportunity for foolish Satan to connect himself. You have to relate with one master. There is no one that is neutral. You say, I'm not for God, I'm not for Satan. It's not possible. If somebody say, eh, I don't believe anything, I live free life, it's lying. Nobody live free life. Nobody live free life. It's indirectly telling you, he, he believe what? He believe the, other, world, the other, other side of the world. It's not possible. There, there's no neutral in this world. Is it that you are positive or negative? So for you now to say, hey, if you acquire this through Heavenly Father God, and now you cannot relate with Him, relate, act with Him. When you act with Him, you know God's opinion about yourself and about people around you. That is one key. The reason why we have to relate with the source of whatever we have. When you relate with him, you will know God's, you will know his opinion about you and on about the possession you have. And people around you, you know God's opinion about them. Who are the good, who are the bad, who are the good friends, who are the enemy, you know all this. But now you cannot relate with him. How do we show that it's God that gave you this possession? That is another question. Because you cannot deceive God. To get something god he know your tomorrow he know that if i give you this you disconnect yourself from him he know before giving you anything it's not it's not a man you can deceive so how do we now show that this thing come from god answer the question uh, we have to we have to keep to the source, the let, source. Let, let me tell you this is this is me i gave you yes so imagine this is god giving you and i'm telling you god omniscience omnipotent all knowing your yesterday your today and forever he know he know what you become 20 years to come do you know there is why god will give you anything he will give you because of tomorrow not because of today so he has I can't your rest, the rest of your journey, the rest of your journey in life. He know how you will spend them. So therefore, you can't deceive him and, and collect something and disconnect with him. So definitely, me, the source of your wealth is questionable. Let's put it in that way. This is the challenge we are facing all over the world today. Because what comes from God, go to Him. If this is from God, it go to God. So, can you see the challenges? So, if you acquire all this, and all this is not from God, there is tendency to remember what become of me after this life is over? This is the thought that will be running through you. If I now come to you and say, come brother, come to him and ask him here for help. He will shout on you, leave me. Do you know the reason? Because he know what he has is not from Baba God. If it's from Baba God, he will be generally generous giver.
Because if it's from Baba God, the more we give, the more it increase. Even we'll be looking for people to give, not people looking for us. We will be desperately, ah, 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 ah. You will not ask him for help. He will be the one to be looking for you. He want to give you. He want to give. He want to give. That is the sword. That is the 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 antonym. So, brother. Now, what we are talking now about our spiritual life is this: if you are, if you cannot act with God that give you this it means how do we sure that God is the source of this thing because it's not possible you must act with because there's no it's not possible for you you must have a spiritual life that is your divine nature is it that your divine nature is divine holiness or divine nature of Satan is it that of this You may be seated, sir. Thank you. Now, the question now, I want to advise you, slow down your spiritual life. Very, very important. Whatever you acquire, you can acquire everything. And your spiritual life will remain zero. It is our spiritual life that furnish us how to maintain whatever we have and how to go about this it is this spiritual life so we run ahead of our spiritual life our possession our money i'm seeing the war today the war is having so much fame popularity and their spiritual life is zero this is zero This is zero. Because a lot of things happen to us today. That I keep asking this question. This is why our youth today, they find it difficult to believe that God is alive. Because of what they are seeing every day. Every day. Look at all over the world. Take a good example of war. Before a nation or a country attack a country, we need to ask God's opinion about this. What will be the outcome of this war? The outcome may be even greater than the war himself. Or the outcome may be an advance, an expansion, peace to the world. Because whatever we're trying to do, we are doing it to bring peace to the world. If it is to bring peace to the world, God is the same peace. Let us ask God. But today there is nothing like that. We walk in the darkness and we talk in darkness, no direction. Back to square one. If you want to fight me, ask God, this man, when we fight God, the, will, the world, will this bring advance to the war and peace? If it's not going to bring peace, we shouldn't attempt to anything that will not bring peace to the world. But uh, this is it. So here we find ourselves. The situation today, the generation today is worse than before. And if you can see beyond now, you will know that uh, <laughs> we have not, it's like, we have not started experience what we have done. You know, if the river is somewhere there and it's, it's coming out through stream water, but the river now is dirty, but some water has come out of the river before the water dirty. So the water we are fishing and enjoying now is still pure. But that dirty water will soon come in, will, will soon be passed. It means that we have not seen anything. You economists, sit down and 
and every nature contribute to the growth of the world. No matter how worse Nigeria in economics, the output, what is coming out of Nigeria, adding to the the, 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 the source of the whole world, the peace of the world. Each country, economies, adding to the growth of the whole world, peace of the world. Look at the whole world today. Each country, there is war since I was born. I don't, after the war, I don't see peace coming. And we are looking for peace. since I was born. War in each country does not bring out peace at the end of the war. So what are we talking about? The crisis each country, can you count how many countries in the whole world today? That's crisis, crisis, crisis. And each country that crisis happened the outcome of those crises does not bring peace. What brought to the world? All these militancies, they are children without father, without mother, orphans. And they, they are increasing every day. You talk of Nigeria as a country, the, whatever militant fight that has happened, they call it whether Boko Haram or whatever, half of them are not Nigerians. They are people that are running for their daily bread, their daily life, and they have nothing to do than to carry go and be attacking everywhere. They are ready to die. These are the people that are ready to die. No mother, no father, no family, nothing. They are fighters. They can fight any country and they migrate from one country to another. They migrate from one country to another, one country to another, and they move all over the world because they cannot stay in their country. Each country that is war, there will be millions of fans, and they are ready to be a fighter, professional fighter. So this increase all over the world and talk of what will happen tomorrow and next tomorrow. So let us we continue where we stop next week. Because I choose to talking to you prophetic. Not I'm not going to preach someone first. I don't know, maybe Anytime I come out in your midst, I want to give, I want to be talking prophetically. Not coming here and telling you, uh, Jesus, this, 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 I'm not going to preach something to you. This word of prophecy. Write everywhere I spoke. What you have heard from me, write it down. People that are fighting your country, your own nation, 50% 60% of them, they are not from your country. They are people that migrate from one country to another because they are fatherless and they are motherless. They have no more family. And once they enter the country, they, they become a professional fighter. And this number of people increase every day. In millions, they are increasing. So when my nature was talking of, I mean, the whole con the constellation of now, I mean, it is, when it is your people that are fighting, you can reconcile issue. So at the beginning, it will have been very easy to reconcile. But today, me, people migrate from one country to another. So let us pray, right so let's pray for the whole world.
open your lips and present your nation to God. Ask God to redeem your nation and redeem your leaders. Prayer. Maintenant, tous les spectateurs, priez, demandez au Seigneur Jésus-Christ de racheter votre nation, de racheter votre pays. Pongamos a nuestro Señor Jesucristo que redima nuestra nación. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. Right now, invite God intervention in your country. Prayer. Maintenant, demandez l'intervention de Dieu. Invitez l'intervention de Dieu dans votre pays. Priez. Oremos por la intervención de Dios en nuestro país. God intervention in your nation. Ask God to intervene in the affair of your country, your nation, in every year. De manera a Dios de intervenir en todos los domenes de vuestro país, en las affaires del país, en todos los domenes que concernen vuestro país. Priez. Oremos para que Dios ore por nuestro país. Oremos para que Dios intervenga en nuestros asuntos. Oremos para que Dios intervenga en nuestra nación. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. You know, the whole world is like a human, is a human being. Your nation may be harmed. That is the part of the body. My nation may be one leg. Another nation may be head. All part of the body. Look at that is the whole world. A giant nature may be head, hand, finger, eyes, and so on and so forth. If one is in pain, the whole body is in trouble. But we don't know this. If look at this is body. This is the whole world. The whole world is this. So you know this body has parts. And each country is a part of this body. And if one part of this body is, is hot, the whole body will feel it. And the whole body will be in, in danger. Imagine how many parts of this body the people have hurt now. Which should not be because of leader of any nation and fight or cause and cause a crisis in that nation we should know that nature is greater than any leader <laughs> take note a leader will go the nation will continue yeah. even a leader before that leader was born that nation was exist yeah. i can win because of uh, T.B. Joshua is the head of a, a country called A Country. And the, because this David Joshua is misbehaving, we now, we see, we cannot rescue the nation. If it is the country, the people of that country that is fighting that leader, the whole world should come and rescue the country instead. Because that country is bigger than T.B. Joshua himself. But today we don't look at it. Because we want to get TV Joshua Tucker, we want to, I mean, anything, we, we continue to destroy the, the country. By the time we get to TV Joshua, we will have destroyed the, the up 90 percent of this in the nation before getting to TV Joshua. This is what has happened today. The world should come together and rescue a nation. And how do we rescue a nation? It's not by destroying that nation. Because we are destroying a nation. 
destroy the nature of the of God. Those things we cannot recover in in hundred years to come. Even in our generation, that many till the the in the process of crisis in many nations they have destroyed today. In our in our generation, we cannot recover it. It's not possible. So, this is what the world should take note now and rescue the nation Egypt now so that it will not join a crisis all over the world. Let them rescue. It's not by destroying the nation. There is a way the world come together and realize that a nation is greater than any leader. They should rescue the nation. Not by war. When we are one, we can rescue any anything. We can we can come out. We can be a savior of anybody. But we should not go there or go any nation with because of our personal interests. For any interest. Father, we commit the nations and continent to your hand. Father, in Bless to them in Jesus' name. Amen. Nature is greater than anyone. Any one ambition, no matter whom you are. Father, speak to our leader and let them know that a nation is greater than anyone. Seigneur, parle à nos leaders et laisse les esprits savoir qu'une nation est plus grande que quiconque. And stop destroying a country because they want to rescue the country. What kind of rescue is this? Because I'm a prophet and I know what is coming, what is to come. And when it comes, all of you quote me, T.B. Joshua have said it. Cut your coat according to your size. Whatever you have now, please keep it. And choose to do whatever business you want to do. And prepare. For the reward of our handwork. The, what we have done today, we are going to re we receive the reward tomorrow. So, if you say it's not your country, I have given you a sample. This is country, country is a human being, a body that has all parts. And your body, your country is a part of that body. If any country is suffering now, your country too is suffer, is suffering. If anything happens to any country in the whole world, your country too will feel it because this is the whole world is a body, have different parts. So therefore, look at it from this. Thank you, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You may be seated. Thank you. Oh, wow. I, you know, you know, every day you buy a newspaper, you want to read because it's uh, part of your way of life. And it's your job. You must know what is happening all over the world. Every time I come to your means, I'm not uh, talking to your divine nature or speak to your divine nature. It's like I'm not working at all. Uh, so I, I really, it's, it's my job. Uh, I mean, in all gifts the Lord has given me, this prophetic gift taking the whole part of my life. That is why when I'm talking to you, purely when you write, just write my message down and go over it when you get home. There is none of this word that will not come to pass. It is not me that make it pass. It is what is going to happen is what I'm telling you. What is going? You remember what I told you last week? See what I'm telling you today. And if our leader listen, anytime there's crisis in any nation, they should know that they are part of that body. They should not wait. Till, uh, they should come together and say, if it is Africa, the whole Africa should come together and say, look, let us rescue this country. This country is greater than the leader there. 
whatever they can do to bring, bring out that leader, take him out of the country and say, please, this country is greater than anybody. Amen. But start fighting, fighting, fighting because of a person that is there, that is a hair, fighting, fighting, destroy, 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 burning, I mean, an ancient thing, many things that have been there hundred years ago, and the Akai destroying them and all that. What does what do we make out of all this? This resort to economy chaos. Daddy, I call you.